speed of light the fastest speed there is. Since the light itself can travel faster than it, this creates some really cool phenomena. One of the most popular one is looking back in the past. If something is 10 light years away, we see that object as it was 10 years ago. We all know that. But what if this universe is filled with aliens? Aliens 65 million light years away from us. If they point their telescope towards us, could they see dinosaurs roaming around the Earth? In theory, yes, they could do that. In practice, uh, not really. One of the biggest obstacles in astronomy is distance. The further away something is, the heavier it is for us to observe it. For perspective, most of the planets we've discovered are within 500 light years away, and most of the visible stars in the night sky are within about a thousand light years away from us. Milky Way itself is about 100,000 light years in diameter. Andromeda is 2.5 million light years away. For some aliens to see dinosaurs, they would have to be 65 million light years away from us. They would need a really, really big telescope to achieve such a thing. But exactly how big of a telescope would they need? As I said, the further away you look, the harder it is and thus you need a bigger telescope. To see the Earth from that distance, you would need a telescope about 50 million kilometers in diameter. That's almost 6 billion times bigger than our biggest 100 million euros 10 meter telescope. But they don't want to see just the Earth, they want to see dinosaurs on it. To achieve that, they would need a telescope that's at least 40 trillion kilometers in diameter, at least, or 4 light years. We use glass to make most of our telescopes. If we assume they do too, they're gonna run into a problem. Putting that amount of mass in one place can curve space-time so much as to create a black hole. Actually, you don't need 4 light years of glass for that to happen. A ball 28 light minutes in diameter will have enough mass to do just that. So in the end, yes, it is possible and no, it's not nearly as practical. It's much easier for them to travel back in time 65 million light years and land there with their flying saucers. Or maybe they already did that. Who knows? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.